You've probably passed by our break food board before and wondered how you affect it. Let me briefly go over this. On the left hand side is what is currently in place for break food. That's updated on the 1st and 15th of each month. At the bottom is the sum of all of those things, starting with a base of $6. In the middle is the expectation. These are the scores we need to be hitting. It is also the associated amount that each item is worth for break food. On the right is where we show updates in between official updates, so that way we know where we are headed. All right, the first four things are customer experience monitors. These are the surveys on the receipts. Now remember, CEMs, customer experience monitors, are based on the guest perception, so keep that in mind as we go through this. Order accuracy. This starts with the ordering process. That goes to kitchen to be made correctly. Is it bagged correctly? Taste. Were the fries hot because they were the last thing bagged or prepped correctly? Was the breading process accurate? Was the chicken hot? A lot can affect taste. Speed of service. How long did the guests perceive their experience? Was the food made quickly? Is our team hustling when, our, when delivering our food? And lastly is overall satisfaction. This is a summary of all the aforementioned items, plus other variables that summarize a guest's overall satisfaction with their visit. So that's it for CEMs. Target zone performance. This is how often we drop just the right amount of chicken so it's not holding. Helping this means front of house keeping back of house, informed on how many iPads we have outside. This is back of house keeping track of how busy we are at each time of the day. All right, so food cost. It's exactly what it sounds like. Ways to keep our food costs down is making sure our orders that we send out are accurate and front of house is keeping track of order numbers matching on bags and food items. Ways that back of house can affect this number is having less waste throughout the day on breakfast to lunch transition, and of course, closing. Productivity, you've probably heard us talk about this a time or two. Productivity is sales divided by labor hours. What this means is having the appropriate amount of team members on shift so that the sales that are coming in are profitable. This is a combination of scheduling smartly and shift leads cutting when necessary. ERQA and daily safe critical. ERQAs are front of house's way of checking the quality of our food, and daily safe are ways that back of house are ensuring that our kitchen is safe. This percentage is how often those checks are done each day. I'll give you a hint, it's normally 100% of the time. Sum all of those things up and you can see how our store is not only performing, but how much break food is going to be for that time. Let any director know if you have any questions. Thanks.